Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've been seeing a lot of posts lately on the Steam Deck community page that I follow on social media asking how to add ROMs to the emulation station using the Steam Deck in desktop mode. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now the best thing I can advise before you do anything is to get yourself a Bluetooth mouse, which would make this a lot more easier, and also a Bluetooth keyboard. So when it comes to using the ROMs and searching for the, any games that you want in particular, at least then, you've got an easier way to type and access. So the first thing we need to do is to go into desktop mode. Now for obvious reasons, I can't show you where to get the ROMs from. So the video will cut out in between getting the ROM and adding the ROM, but I'm gonna show you the basis of how to do it. So you go into desktop mode, we load up your internet browser. Now you may use Firefox, you may use Edge, you may use just about anything you can probably get your hands on. So, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to do a ROM search. So even if you click on download ROMs, let's say Game Boy Color, because I'm looking for a Game Boy Color for my Steam Deck, which is what we're gonna be using as this tutorial. Now, I'm going to just pause the video here because I can't show you exactly which link it is you go to, and then we'll go from there. Back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So as you can see, we now have the zip file, which contains the ROM for the Game Boy emulation. So we're gonna extract that. It doesn't really matter where you extract the file to. I tend to put a lot of my game files on my desktop because it's a little bit easier to find. So there you go, that's the file we need. Now, obviously with it being a Game Boy Color game, it will say at the end of the file .gbc. So that may help you in terms of locating which files you need to do. Now, obviously my emulation station is saved to my SD card, so all my folders will be saved on my SD card. So what we need to do, we need to go to the um, removable disk drives and click on the SD card. We need to open file manager, and then you'll get three folders, lost and found, emulation, and Steam apps. Now what we need is the emulation folder, and then there'll be another folder called ROMs. And now, because we've just downloaded a Game Boy Color game, we just need to find the folder that contains the Game Boy Color. Now, quite a lot of the times, I do miss this on first glance, but uh, GameCube, there we go, GBC. So the Game Boy Color, for example, will be under GBC. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of um, Game Boy games already in this folder. So what we're gonna do is drag and drop and move here. So that will now appear in the Game Boy Color folder. So what we can do now, is we can return to game mode. Okay, and now what we need to do is go into emulation station. We need to launch that. Give it a few moments. Now this message pops up every time on mine because I generally haven't changed the name yet, but I will get to it. So as you can see with emulation station, we do have quite a lot of retro consoles with the emulation station. These are just a selection of what I've got. Now, obviously, if we go to the Game Boy Color folder, now we're looking for poke, um, sorry, for Resident Evil, which there you see now, as you can see, we do have a lot of games with album covers. So if you really want to screw that up, what you need to do is to go onto the file, press the menu button, go to Scraper, you don't really have to select all games or anything like that. So let's just go to Game Boy Color. Start. Now, admittedly, there is an easier way you can do it just game by game, but I'm just giving you a prime example as to what it will do. So, so let's say you select a whole folder of just those particular games. The scraping will find an album cover, a description, and momentarily I will show you a little video that will play of the game whilst you're on the menu screen. So that's finished now. So as we load up the game now, we should have an album cover with a copy of the disc cartridge, or sorry, the cartridge. As you can see, this is what I'm saying about the little video that gets played. Fantastic. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make sure that that works, which the fact being it's allowed me to find an album cover that tells me it will work. I saw this game advertised on a social media last night that someone was selling it for like £65 package and I'm like, I've never heard of that game. 
and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to look on the emulation station. So in a way, it's kind of helped me a little bit in terms of you know, doing a video for you all to know how to do it. So this is playing absolutely flawless. So there you go, people. That's how you add ROMs to the files on Emulation Station. I will do some more tutorials in terms of other files, but for now, best of luck with it, and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.